Tis the season for traditional holiday treats. And in a distant capital, Ben Tracy has found one longtime favorite in abundance. On the streets of Beijing, just about the time Jack Frost starts nipping at your nose, you can smell chestnuts roasting on an open fire. It's like the temperature gets to a certain degree, mm -hmm. the sun starts going yeah. down sooner, and then there's chestnuts. Absolutely. Chong Qian grew up in Beijing and now gives tours of the city's food scene. She took us to one of the many street corner vendors doing brisk winter business. All of these people waiting in this line, I mean, how many of these folks do you think are buying chestnuts? Um, I'm guessing every single one of them. This hot little snack serves a dual purpose, finger food and handy hand warmer. When you have the steamy, warm, bowl of chestnut you're holding your hands in the Beijing cold winter is the most comforting things on earth. You sound like somebody who has had a chestnut or two in your past. I am a huge fan, yeah. Chestnuts have been a staple of the Chinese diet dating all the way back to the Qin dynasty, more than 200 years before Christ. Wang Haishen is a fourth generation chestnut roaster. His family started their business in the late 1800s and claimed they were once the exclusive provider of nuts to China's imperial family inside the Forbidden City. There is now a constant stream of customers at their Beijing stand, where they sell more than 77,000 pounds of chestnuts each year. Chestnuts have been the meal ticket for four generations, he says. Now it has evolved into a brand. It's not easy. It takes about 50 minutes to turn each batch of chestnuts golden brown, just long enough for the kernel inside to soften and separate from the shell. While most vendors have fully automated their roasting, Wong, at 62 years old, still prefers doing it the old-fashioned way. After all, his grandfather was known as One Shovel Wong. So that's you and your dad? Before we left, he wanted to show me this picture. He says it's the only time his father ever took one with him. The photo means he can trust me with this store completely, Wang says. You were 46 in this picture, so it took a long time to earn your dad's trust. And that trust is why this legacy lives on and is far more than a line from a Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos